everyone, it's Sharon here from Penguin Palace. I'm glad you're here. Today I will be demoing with the Peacock Accent Stencil 360 along with this coordinating beautiful inside and out stamps and dies. First I will show you what the stencil design looks like and then I'm going to show you the basic layering technique of this stamp set. I'm sure you're going to enjoy playing with this bundle as it is super versatile and you can mix and match the elements to create many different designs. Off camera, I've already centered my 6x6 cardstock. As you can see, the alignment marker is showing a star symbol. That means you can decide the angle of rotation. Here I chose a turning interval of 60 degrees. In other words, I'm inking on every other circle on the scale. To give it more dimension, I'm using three different colors on each turn. So starting at 12 o'clock, I'm going to jump two circles before I start inking again. I also want to take this opportunity to let you all know that we're in the process of adding a downloadable section onto our website. In there, you're going to find guidelines, instructions to our products, such as our 360 stencils and other layering stamp sets. As you may know, a lot of the stencils from our initial releases, they do not come with the printed guides, um, which you'll find on the newer releases. And I do apologize. And let me talk a little bit more about that. This is just one of many difficulties we face as a small business. We don't have a large audience like big companies do, and we don't have the big budget for making big quantities or keeping a big inventory. And most printing companies, they have a minimum print quantity requirement. To print a design, you need to print at least a certain amount. In other words, the lower the count, the higher the unit price. Imagine if I had to print a large count of inserts for each stencil design, not only it would cost a lot more, I would just end up with so many extra number of inserts, which will eventually go to waste. It's not very env environmentally friendly. It's just unpractical for our situation at the time. I would also need to sell my stencil at a higher price point, which is not ideal. And that is why initially I made a decision to only print out the same design, which I could use for all the different stencil sets. That way I was still able to keep our stencils at a very competitive price point. Now, as our brand is developing and we are making more and more designs, we really see the need to have these guides as they are quite useful for our customers. And we're at a point where we can finally make some adjustments. And hence the stencils that came out recently do have those printed guides. So thank you for sticking around and being patient with us. We all need to start somewhere. Even if we cannot be perfect, we can always continue to improve. So for those earlier released stencils that don't come with, come with any guidelines, you'll be able to easily find them in the downloadable section once it's up and running. And I really hope that you find it helpful. Here's a look at the beautiful inside and out stamp set. Basically, the peacock has two components, the main silhouette of the head and body of the peacock and also the tail, or some people call it the train. Um, it has three layers to it. And I'm starting with um, this stamp right here. And these are the outlines of the eyes of the feathers. Up next is the image on the top left. To layer this, you just put the center portions of the eyes inside the outlines, just like this. Very simple. And the third image would be the rest of the feathers. And I realized after filming that the camera didn't capture me stamping the third layer. And I apologize for that. But don't worry, since uh, once you have the two layers, the third one is really easy to line up. The feathers just go in between the bars of the second image. And the guide that you see on the screen right now, um, it is on the product page of this set. And as I mentioned, you're going to see it in the downloadable section shortly. So once you have the train stamped out, you can die cut it using its coordinating dies. Now there are two layers to the main peacock image, the silhouette and also some feather highlights. If you're planning to die cut this, there are a couple of ways you can do it. Here I'm stamping the silhouette and then stamping the feather highlights before I die cut it. Or second way is you can stamp the silhouette, die cut it, and then stamp the feathers highlight. Both methods work fine, but I find that the latter gives you better results as you do get a better placement on the second image after die cutting. 
Here you can see I stamped the silhouette using some first and fine black pigment ink and then clear heat embossing it for a shinier look. So you can use the complete stamped and die cut images for your cards or you can use just the die cut trains or combine the 360 stencil background with just the main silhouette like I'm doing here or use the stencil alone as the background and say add a big eye-catching die cut sentiment on top etc etc. That's just limitless possibilities. Here I cut my stenciled background to five and a quarter by five and a quarter inch. I left a one eighth border around using the navy blazer cardstock, added my card base and turned it into a side fold card. I also stamped out the scripty sentiment you are beautiful inside and out on the inside of my card. To finish it off, I wanted to add some sparkle to the card, so I thought I'd give a sneak peek here of the new embellishment collection that we will be adding to our store. These are just two of the many styles that we will be having. I find these two colors uh, coordinate the card best and add a touch of glamour to the card. For my other card, I used the floral garden cover die to give more intricate details on the background. Then I popped those die cut images on foam tape and again, added some blame to the card to finish it off. You can see these stamps and stencil make a great combination that gives you the complete tailored look for your projects. I hope you have a better idea on how to get started with these brand new products after watching this video. And I look forward to seeing all of your wonderful designs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.